Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this updated video this morning. I trust and hope that you're doing really great and we're going to be taking a look at the latest for our systems across the North Atlantic and we'll also be talking about seismicity in the Caribbean because there was an earthquake in Jamaica yesterday. And so here we have this map and uh, that epicenter of the quake. And by the way, the epicenter is above the focus. What is the focus? Now that is the point inside the crust where the earthquake happens. That point right where it starts, that is known as the focus. Directly above the focus on Earth's surface is where the epicenter is. So that is uh, the difference between the focus and the epicenter. So the epicenter was around five kilometers to the west of Hope Bay in Portland. It had been felt in parishes such as Kingston and St. Andrew, Clarendon, St. Catherine, St. Thomas, and Portland. And even areas further west such as St. Elizabeth, Manchester, and St. James uh, have also felt a minor shaking. But as those seismic waves would uh, move further away from the focus, they would get weaker. So it wasn't really felt much in western parishes. And I was actually in the midst of having dinner when I saw the reports coming in about that earthquake and persons asking if I felt it but I did not feel it and I'm located in St. James so again very weak but some persons actually felt the shaking and it is important to have these tips in the back of our minds uh, when it comes to an earthquake and this isn't something very new because there are always these uh, earthquakes across some parts of Jamaica especially over in the east so a lot of the earthquakes that happen are over that side of the island so please stay safe guys because earthquakes are unpredictable and they can be very scary of course but we definitely have to know what to do and how to act should one actually take place and so now let's go ahead and head on to the tropics so we've got these satellite imagery here and we can see that uh, whatever is left of nigel is quickly moving out and it has transitioned into an extra tropical cyclone so the national hurricane center has issued the last advisory on it so as of the latest advisory this morning it has winds up to around 70 miles per hour just below hurricane status and it is only going to continue to weaken and eventually dissipate now as we take a look off the african coast there we can see that blob cannot miss it that is invest 90l so that disturbance is now designated as invest 90l as expected and it is given that high chance to develop through the next seven days of 80 percent and through the next 48 hours 60 percent so the chance is increasing for it to develop so uh, likely this weekend early next week we will have a brand new tropical depression and eventually tropical storm and uh, there is also that disturbance potential tropical cyclone 16 which will bring impacts to portions of the u.s starting later today so uh, that one is likely to become ophelia maybe by this evening so we'll have to wait and see for that we'll go on to more details in a bit but heading into the vicinity of the caribbean and surrounding areas there is some activity across some spots this morning nothing too crazy looking across not in South America, lots of moisture, some thunderstorms taking place in some areas, and even across some parts of the Lesser Antilles as well. So there's still some moisture there helping to induce the rainfall. We even see a bit of activity near parts of the ABC Islands, Bonaire, Curacao. So uh, hopefully even a brief rainfall would do you guys some good. It would be better than nothing because it has been rather hot and dry as of lately. Let's head up further north to the rest of the region and we can see that there isn't anything too crazy happening. A couple of thunderstorms across some areas here and there, especially offshore of Hispaniola. And as we head to later today, we could see some afternoon showers and thunderstorms popping up across some areas. So it would be good to walk with your umbrella, maybe even a jacket or a cardigan if you're planning to go out up until later today. And uh, let's head fur even further up north, heading off the southeastern U.S. coast. And there we've got our disturbance. So a uh, potential tropical cyclone 16 and again it is only given that designation because of its imminent threat to land. In and of itself it has not yet reached the threshold to be considered a named system but it is producing those tropical storm force winds and it will bring such conditions so even though it is not yet designated as uh, a subtropical or tropical cyclone. Those impacts are underway for parts of the East Coast, and that is why advisories are being initiated. So a normal disturbance out there wouldn't have any advisories until it reaches that threshold. 
and uh, it is going to be making its way in let's go on to the cone forecast and we can see this shaded area indicating the extent of those tropical storm force winds so we can see that they lie to the north of the center of the system so they're going to be well on shore before the center actually moves in or before landfall actually takes place and there's that tropical storm warning for much of the coast of north carolina heading up into delaware so the system is going to be bringing those strong winds periods of heavy rainfall even that dangerous uh surf and even that storm surge as well so the winds of the system pushing the water on shore resulting in that coastal flooding or inundation so please be mindful of that guys and listen to your local officials and please do not take any unnecessary risks but then as it moves inland it will be cut off from its source of fuel and energy which is those very warm waters of the atlantic and as such it will rapidly weaken and by sunday it should be back to uh, extra tropical cyclone status before making its way out of the states as we head further into the early part of next week so that is what is up ahead for that system heading out into the main development region where we've got our disturbance 90l so uh, this disturbance is going to be moving generally westward for some time but then a turn up to the north is expected due to potential tropical cyclone 16 which is likely to become ophelia making its way out so that is going to be uh disrupting the high pressure system out there because if that wasn't a thing then we would definitely have something coming into the caribbean but it seems as though it is going to be making that curve before getting a chance to bring any significant impacts or any substantial impacts to parts of the caribbean still no guarantee as yet but that is seemingly more likely let's head on to some model data here so we're looking at the track guidance and we can see that most models are showing that curve some of them sooner than others but for the most part they are showing that hey this is not going to be moving very close to the caribbean and it will make uh and it will be making that curve and these tracks are to track the center of the system and not the size so the closer it would be even though the center remains offshore there could still be some impacts in that case but if it is very far then any impacts would be very minimal in the caribbean as it relates to intensity here we have the model intensity guidance and uh, most models show gradual intensification of the system as we head throughout the next several days and uh, they're eventually expecting that hey this could become a hurricane potentially a major hurricane and that would not be something impossible because we're talking about uh, those very warm waters out there and overall conditions are likely to be conducive ahead of it and it is already getting itself together nicely so again by the next couple of days we should have a brand new tropical storm out there and uh, there is that increasing likelihood that it could miss the Caribbean so we've seen that trend throughout the season uh, we've seen it with Lee we've seen it with Nigel and even other systems curving up as well so that has been a trend and it seems as though this brewing tropical storm eventual hurricane wants to take on that similar track so we'll see what happens guys and of course I'm here to keep you posted as per usual so that is pretty much it for this update and I hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments I'll respond to you once I get the chance to do so and as always remember to be worthwhile.